You guys had a great day. Hope you enjoy your weekend. I uh, just wanted to jump in uh, real quick and talk about what things look like today. Uh, over the weekend, um, I want to really dive into the chart and kind of watch the news a little bit. And um, be before I kind of make probably Sunday evening, I'll do a little bit more in-depth video about what to expect for next week. Uh, but overall, uh, today played out a exactly like I said it was going to. Um, I thought we would finish uh, within 20 cents of either uh, below Max Payne or above Max Payne. Max Payne was $16 going into today. Um, at one point, we got all the way up there, uh, but then we had a little bit of a sell-off towards the end of the day. Um, but overall, pretty much today went exactly how I thought it would um, based off of previous videos. So um, one thing I tweeted out this morning, so if you guys don't already, uh, once again, follow me on Twitter, uh, Colin underscore Gladman. That's where I'll post a lot of my ideas. And then uh, these videos, I use the video aspect of things to um, actually convey my thoughts as far as I told somebody today, it was like Twitter is just too hard with limited characters and everything like that to really try to convey what you're trying to say um, sometimes. And so that's what these uh, videos are about because obviously I can, you know, paint things with a, a broader brush, if you will. So um, today I tweeted out that this support right here, which you can see acted as resistance for. Um, you know, quite a few months before it broke above it. Um, and then once we broke above it, then it provided support. Um, this line, as far as I'm concerned, is is getting more and more valid every single day because every single time we touch it, we have some type of reaction. And that's what you're looking for um, with trend lines. And when it comes to trend lines, my friends, it's a, uh, you know, it, it's a solid trend line until it's not, honestly. So it's a solid trend line or resistance line till you break above or you break below or anything along those lines. And then you establish new trend lines. So people that are like, oh, yeah, I thought it was the unbreakable line. I mean, it's just, that's dumb. Okay. You know, every single day, I always say that the, the chart, provides you more information and you have to take that information um, and you have to be willing to pivot. You know, imagine if you went to a doctor's office who hasn't updated their practice in 30 years. Um, you know, that would that would be silly. So um, every single day, because so much more new information and so much more uh, new medicine has come out. And so um, when looking at the chart, it's as new information comes out, you got to be able to go, oh, OK, I thought it was A and we're actually going to go to C first. That actually makes sense. Um, so like I said, the trend is a good trend line until it's not. So, I mean, until this stops supporting it, I anticipate it doing so. Um, what I'd like to see overall next week, and I'll dive into more later, like I said, is a pushback towards uh, the top of the wedge that we are in. Um, at the end of the day, we did close inside of wedge number two. Let me pull up wedge one, kind of see how that, you know, turned out. Okay, this this looks great. Look at, I mean, come on, people. Look, just look at it, like Dave would say. I mean, almost a perfect retest and then a bounce back towards the upside. Exactly what you want to see. But I know, it don't work. Um, so, overall, wedge looks good. Like I said, I'd like to see some you know general movement you know we'll get some rejection god that's ugly but whatever but that's kind of the move i'd like to see overall you know going into next week um you know a lot depends on kind of what the sec comes out and says as far as what gary says um he's promising information about you know what happened with meme stocks and and what they're going to be doing so we'll we'll see on that um also too as i tweeted out uh one thing that i had noticed when I was playing around with the chart last night is from a FIB standpoint, if you go from the all time low to our all time high in June, um, this 382 right here, right around that $18 mark is going to be what we're having a hard time uh, breaking. Um, so the good news is if you take our support line from down here at the bottom of the buy button collapse, if this trend continues to hold where that 382 meets is it's kind of making a uh, ascending triangle. Um, so let me, I'll zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better. So, you know, if we kind of keep 
bouncing around, bouncing around right here, and eventually we'll break up. That's when we'll you know start moving back up towards the top of the wedge. And then, like I said, I, I mean, I've said it a million times, so I won't harp on it, harp on it too much, um, but this big time resistance line right here, to me, this is gonna be the big kahuna uh, to break and, and close above and probably retest, but we, we wanna put this line behind us. Uh, we, we wanna be on the uh, northern side of this line, if you will, so. Like I said, overall, that is mainly what I'm going to be watching. Um, let's finish up today with uh, checking out the VPVR. So once again, this lets you know all the volume that is traded in these ranges. It takes the uh, candle that's on the far left of your screen and the far right of your screen and shows what has happened. And so that's why I made the case for $10. I still stand by that case. It's still a possibility, but that is going to be uh, needing to be the floor in, in my opinion. So, um, and especially as you go out here and you look at AMC from an all time uh, standpoint, you know, only one other down here in this $2 range even um, gets closer than that one that we were just looking at. But from right here, where we are right now is the third biggest one on the chart. That's why I think it, it's. You know, at, at this point in time with all of these levels, it's going to be harder for them to push us down through these levels than it is going to be for us to travel back up through these levels. So that why that's why I really think we're coming to the point where institutions and whales and everything along those lines, I really think we are going to see um, a lot of people starting to flip towards the long side of AMC, especially with how much better they're doing with their debt restructuring um, and all that good stuff. So. There's way more reasons to look at moving towards the upside than the downside. It doesn't mean more downside is not a possibility. It just means it's way more likely to see continued movements toward the upside than the downside. That is what I'm trying to um, let you guys know. Once again, nothing I say is financial advice. Um, like I said, because there's people with no accountability out there. So um, anyway, that all looks good. VPVR looks good. Like I said, you know, we're hitting this floor right here and that's why we're having such a good reaction. We could push down. Um, and once again, we will push down through this and we will hit some of these, especially if the overall market drags down. You know, as soon as the overall market started rebounding real nice, um, we started going right along with it. So as of right now, you know, we, we are tracking, you know, pretty much with the overall market. And that's why I said, I told somebody today, if the overall market wouldn't have kept selling off so hard, I really believe this December 14th uh, terminal shakeout right here really would have been our um, bottom and, and start moving back up. And so because it wasn't, they were able to get us down about another seven bucks or so. So once again, is what it is. It's life, people. All right. Indicators. Moving average, MACD, looking good, still curling up. This is what you wanna see when the blue line crosses the orange line. Um, that tells you more upside is coming. Um, and the bars right here are still uh, the dark green. Once they start looking light green, that's when um, we start seeing some weakness in it. But that all says we're gonna keep running. Let's see what RSI looks like. Yeah, still, still just now getting back up into the uh, normal range, if you will. Once again, anything below 30 is considered oversold. So uh, we, we've got plenty of room to run on the RSI if we start seeing big movements and big volume. We've also, uh, I always really like to check out the OBV. And the OBV, we took that dip once we sold off here. But you know we're still we're still curling up. So once again on the OBV overall, what I'm looking at is from right here our previous low in August. Even here, it's a slight uptrend, but it is still an uptrend. Even though the price is drastically lower than it was, we were like at 28 right in here. Yeah, got as low as 28, but really closed over 30. So once again, the OBV is still higher right now. So right now, when we're down here in these you know, $15 ranges, so even our low right here, when we had our absolute low, what was that, the 13, the 1340 was still lower than when our price action, or excuse me, we, we still made a higher low than when our price was over here and, and we closed in the 30s. So 
I've said it already a bunch, but eventually there's going to become an, an answer for this, and I believe the price will catch up to the OBV, and when that happens, everybody, including me, is going to be real excited. So I'll pretty much leave it at that for today. Once again, enjoy your weekends. Be safe. Um, don't be causing no drama. People try to tag me in drama a few days ago. And, and if you follow me, I apologize that um, you guys had to see um, any of that. But bottom line, I'm never, let me say it again, I'm never going to let someone just come at me, especially when they're taking things that I say completely out of context. Um, and, and, then, and then him and his buddies want to act like, cowards afterwards and, and try to paint me as the bad guy when they're the ones tagging me and coming after me so um, I will do my best to let uh, to to just let it be um, I will not tag those people in anything like I haven't done but uh, if they keep coming after me man I don't do keyboard warrior crap around here I will come after you I do not care um, I will stand up for myself especially when you're trying to paint me in a way that is completely inaccurate but once again as I always say, 90 to 95 percent of you guys are completely awesome. The other five percent of you are complete trash that need to live in reality and not be so soft and understand that nobody owes you nothing. Nobody owes you nothing. This world don't owe you nothing. All right. So get smart, get educated, understand what's going on, and uh, let's all just uh, hold hands and sing "Kumbaya." Quit being a pansy. All right. Sorry. Love you guys. Y'all be good. Have a wonderful weekend. Hug your family. I'll see you soon.